Hey guys, welcome back to Starkville YouTube channel. For this video, we're gonna take a look at this mechanic set, Craftsman mechanic set that I picked up at Lowe's the other day. You may have seen it in the little shopping video we did. Now, when I picked it up, it listed the original price as $99, clearance price of $34.65, and it's model CMMT45243. So if you're interested in this thing, check your local Lowe's, see if they have it on clearance, if they have it for the same price, if it's still in stock. So it is kind of a big guy. You do get the handle at the top. There are four buckles that hold the lid shut. And as we pop this guy open, first thing I just kind of find amusing is the gigantic empty space. <laughs> I get it. They want you to put the nuts and bolts and stuff there. Okay, no, they're trying to figure out a way to make it empty. Like, okay. That's not good first impression to have a big empty space, but okay, it is useful because we can add other tools that we may need. It's just kind of hilarious to me. Now over here we get four wrenches. Four. There's two SAE and there's two metric. They're all combination. You have quarter, three-eighths, ten, and twelve. And they're also labeled up here, which just doesn't even look like it's in all the way. Ugh. There we go. So four wrenches and then that guy. And then this front piece just kind of grips and rips and comes down for you. Now I want to show you one thing, a couple of things I actually like. Also, they want you to put more nuts and bolts here. They're all about these little storage compartments. You can pull these pins, so you could take this off. If you were going to put it somewhere where you know it's going to be stationary, just leave this door off and then you just have like a little toolbox where you can slide out the individual drawers. And then these come all the way out, so you could even, well, hold on. There we go. These come all the way out, so you could pull these out, either take it with you or put it in like your toolbox drawer or something. But I'm going to pull these out one at a time and put them on the bench without this guy because it's a little easier to see. For our top drawer, which they even label drawer number one because uh, apparently it matters, we get a bunch of different bit rails here for all different kinds of bits. And then our sockets, we have these deep wells that are six point. Six point deep wells, those are all quarter inch. And that's kind of interesting. Um, we have a mixture of metric five through ten, and then quarter inch through seven sixteen. It's got that big nine thirty seconds and eleven thirty seconds that I would never use. What I was looking at is on my uh, older Craftsman tools, you'd get these hashes on the metric sockets, but the SAE sockets didn't have those. And that's how I can tell if I'm looking at a metric or an SAE immediately, you know, before my old eyes even see. Um, but I guess you can't do that anymore. The one thing is the numbers are a lot bigger. It's definitely a lot bigger than my old sockets. So that's good. Here we got some nut driver guys. And both SAE and metric there. We got our shallow or standard sockets here. Again, set of metric and SAE. Still got the nice big numbering that we appreciate. And then we have a whole nother row over here. Oh. Wow, look how small that is. Okay. Why do we have... So these are 12 points here. These are both 6 point. What... What am I not smart enough to know that we would have a row of 12 point SAE, but not a row of 12 point metric. There has to be a reason for that. Otherwise it's the same sockets. Okay, we also get the little extension here and we get the ratchet. You can see it's a new style, newer style of Craftsman ratchet. It's not the same ones we got in the past. It's a pretty fine tooth. Is it 84 or 90? thing probably says, but I can't see it from here. But you don't got to move it much to grab your next tooth. So that doesn't look too bad. All right, so that's drawer one. Let's move on to drawer two. As you see, we get to a bigger size, and now we're spacing things out quite a bit. We're not getting nearly as much in the 3 8 So we're going up to 3 quarters over here, and it goes down to half inch. And then we're going from 12 to 18. Well, kind of like a 10. Oh, well, here's 10s in shallow, just not a deep 10. So here's what these guys look like. Still got our little hashes. Got our big uh, numbering that we can see real well. These are all six point deep well. 
Got the little three inch extension to go with it. We have our shallows going from three quarter down to three eighths on the shallows. Oh, we even have a quarter and a five sixteenths down here. And then going from 10 to 18 there, we even get a spark plug socket that is a five eighths. Got a little booty in there. I don't know if you can see the booty, but you have to believe me that there's plenty of booty. Forgot the ratchet. Same as the quarter inch. Just three eighths and bigger. Okay, now, third drawer. The half inch drive selection is pitiful. It's admittedly pitiful. Look at this. We get three SAE sockets, 9 sixteenths, 5 eighths, 11 sixteenths, all uh, 12 point. And we get three metric, 16, 17, and 18. <laughs> Six total, so it's not even like a set. We also get another bit rail that is kind of randomly placed down here. Hex, then we got a square on the end there. Why is there just a random bit rail here? Why is it not included with the others? Oh, hex, hex, okay. Okay, sure, sure, we'll, we'll go with that. Uh, we do have these guys, I actually kind of like these. Oh, they flip open like that and they got all the sizes on there. So we got SAE and metric on that. You got this bigger one and then you got the little more portable stubby guys here. So that's not bad, although look at these don't even fit. They're kind of like hitting it and just like, yeah, we're going to just throw that in there anyway. So then we have the same setup for the metrics. You don't got to see that. You'll just have to believe me. And then the uh, half inch drive ratchet which I might take this out and just put it in my toolbox because my old craftsman half inch is just junk now I know lifetime warranty but if I turn it in I'll get this one which probably isn't as nice as my old one probably just look for a rebuild kit or something maybe it'll be better parts I don't know maybe that's wishful thinking but that is the third drawer. Actually, it says 3A. Is there a 3B? Is there possible? Was there options? 3A. That's interesting. 3A. Well, there you have it, guys. The Craftsman Mechanic Tool Set. $34 at Lowe's. Maybe. Yo, Timber. All right, guys. That's it. Thanks for watching. Make sure you give the video a like. Subscribe for a nice subscriber. See you guys next time.